Okay. okay, hi everyone. Today we're gonna play a game called Who is more likely to mom's edition? Mm -hmm. I wrote these questions back before we had our daughter, but we're just getting around to playing this game. So our two options are Lala, and that's her, and Riri, that's her, that's me. So the first one is who is more likely to go out into public with spit up on her shirt? Three, two, one. Yeah. I definitely think it's probably you. <laughs> but to be fair, I'm the one that went to the library for about half an hour with a giant green booger stuck to my cheek and didn't know until I got home. Yeah, she didn't even talk to a librarian and the librarian didn't, didn't mention anything. Yeah, not good. So far I'm very happy with the spit up, not going with spit up to work with it. That we know of. Okay, question number two. Who is more likely to pretend to be asleep when the baby wakes up early in the morning? Three, two, one. <laughs> Early in the morning? Yes. No, I feel like I normally get up with her if it's like four or after. Mm, true. Mm. Do you want to change mm. your answer then? Mm. No, okay. I still think it's you. To pretend to be asleep in the morning? Yes. Okay, well, we'll get this next one. <laughs> Who's more likely to pretend to be asleep in the middle of the night when the baby wakes up? Three, two, one. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I don't want to do from like that midnight to like 3 a.m. Mm. I don't. I don't. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, she'll do those. But I usually get up with her in the morning. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you know, <laughs> to be decided. Uh, who is more likely to forget the diaper bag at home when we go out? Three, two. Oh, well, yeah. We didn't even need the countdown. She tends to forget I tend everything. to forget everything. Yeah. I have a special mom brain after I had the baby. Well, She had the special more... mom brain before she had the baby. <laughs> I, I want to blame it to um, actually uh, natural circumstances having the baby. No, being born as a human. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that one was an easy one. We agreed. Uh, who is more likely to be willing to change a blowout diaper? Three, two, one. Yeah, it's not that I won't do it. I totally will. I do them all the time since I stay home now. But you're definitely the one to jump in normally. Yeah, blowouts happen. Uh, yeah, often here. Very um, often. Who is more likely to do the sniff test to see if a diaper change is needed? Three, two, one. I don't know. I think I'm more likely to sniff. That's about the only way I will try. No, that's true. Other than I'll, I'll visually, visually checking. So this goes into the next one. <laughs> Who's more likely to do the dipstick method to check a diaper, which involves a finger? Three, two, one. Yeah. No, I don't need that. I can sniff and I can look. Anything. I don't that... need a touch. My fingers are dark enough that I don't know if. <laughs> so far, her poop is not, not this. poop colored. <laughs> um, so the next one is: Who is more likely to be a nervous or overprotective parent? Three, two, one. Yes, definitely. Choking on bath water, bumping her head. If I gently <laughs> toss her into the air. No. Overprotective. Mm -mm. Nervous, mm -hmm. worried, very constantly thinks she's sick too, and she's yet to knock on wood, be sick. Mm -hmm. um, next one, yes. Who is more likely to play with the baby's toys when the baby is not around? Three, two, one. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and I think the only exception is maybe some of her building toys when she gets older. You'll like. Oh my god. Or we dollhouse. We have a video where she is playing with the baby's toy in front of the baby. Oh, the marble run. But yes. that was for the baby. The baby was there. This is when the baby's not okay, around. Okay, let me tell you something. This game was a 1984 game, still wrapped like nicely, and she opened it because she wanted to play with it instead of selling it for awesome profit but it's 1984 19... if it's used it's gonna sell just as well as it would if it was new next one who is more likely to get kids songs stuck in her brain and I think we can tag on and sing them on loop three two what you think it... no I think it's me oh. <laughs> but you think you do she, no I actually you know what you're spending a lot of time with the baby so i'll give you this one i don't think it necessarily has to do with how much time i'm spending with the baby as my brain just tends to get things stuck in it on loop and your brain probably the, uh, the can just in skip spanish. topic to topic oh yeah true i would not get a spanish kid song stuck in my head and i would so yeah i think the language would be a big difference on that one yeah. 
Well, those are all the questions I had. We didn't really keep score. I'm not really sure that they I win. Would... <laughs> sure. <laughs> you can win. <laughs> she wins? No. I don't know what you get. I don't know You get either. the <laughs> middle of the night wake-ups with the baby. Yay! <laughs> Love you! <laughs>